provide a quick update on the solar kiln build using 3 8 plywood on the interior putting it on the inside walls I do have the doors complete with the vent holes cut in them we'll paint it'll be the a black interior and then we'll uh, I got the uh, attic fans thermostatically controlled and I'll need to build the baffle across the top haven't given that much thought yet wanted to look at the fans figure the dimensions to cut the holes to make that work but uh, anyway update on the solar kiln build two coats of primer using the Valspar, Valspar primer let me show you what that's what we're using it'll be a tan color like all the other buildings and the baffle with the fans getting them set up Here's what the uh, attic fan looks like with the thermostat. There's the model number if you want to know exactly which one that I'm using. Of course, you see the, the holes. I'm going to have four. It's a 16-foot solar kiln. But it's coming together. And uh, we'll paint it tomorrow. Start the painting on the inside, sealing up all the cracks as well. But evening time here on the farm. Thanks for watching. So the inside, what has been accomplished, it's right about 100 degrees inside in the shade. The doors are open. I've got the inside painted black even up above. And that's where the electrical wiring will run up above. And uh, I've got the baffles. They're made ready to receive the fans as far as the fans I went to the big box store and you could buy replacement electrical cords for your skill saws your drills what what have you and so I'm gonna wire those in to the fan the wires you see hanging out there I will take it apart and see if there is a ground wire inside of the thermostat yeah, there's a ground wire, so I could take the cover off of that, go ahead and hook the ground wire to that cord. That way, if any time I need to unplug it, replace one, or just whatever, 
I can certainly do that. Now keep in mind, I'm going to run with the ground fault interrupter uh, electrical receptacle. So if there's ever a moisture problem that we'll be able to, uh, it'll cut the circuit and keep us from having a hazard. There is where we're going to hook in a circuit breaker, run it into the ground, under the ground. And if you remember, in the uh, previous video I drilled the hole that's the location that we're going to take and put the electrical box through so at this time I'm going to go ahead drill all the way through and then I'll show you what I'm going to do as far as the boxes and go through the wall of the solar kiln what you're looking at here is I used a inch and three-eighths spade bit drilled through the wall then I have two of the metal two gang all-weather outlet boxes they have five holes and my intention is to put the brackets on use this hole back here and then a hole on the bottom to go to the ground and then that way I can uh, run it through the wall back to back okay and there'll be a PVC the, the conduit in between these two boxes so at this time I'm gonna go ahead and put these together and hang them on the wall So this will be the, just one half of this will be electrical outlet. I went to three quarter inch size because I need to run, I need to pull two wires through there, one to each set of fans, and then there'll be two switches on the outside to where I can turn either or, or all of them off. And so at the store I was trying to get the corner pieces, but they were out on the three quarter inch size and uh, I opted for these boxes it, it makes it easier for pulling wires anyway now I'm going to go up up to the top and then go across and then have my drops for the different sets of fans so let me go ahead and get that done and then we'll bring the camera back into the so I have the wiring done with the exception of what's running to the house I've got the fan brackets mounted I don't know if I can see from here there's one box and the second box of course with the doors open and this little box fan running it's still 80 degrees well outside I guess so I'm get this thing shut up but I bought some more paint to finish the inside. The walls the walls I use this fence post asphalt fence paint. This is the uh, leak stopper. This is what I'm going to it, it turns into a, a rubber coating and I'll put that on the kiln floor it'll seal up all the cracks and everything and on this project been using the wire nuts it's 6 30 in the evening I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up oh let me show you one more thing this is uh, the switch box for each side of the fan these are the wires I'll take and hook into I 
to the uh, power from the house and I just run out of running out of daylight but I don't think I have <clears throat> I've been using this underground wire this is 12 gauge but I'll have to go buy some more I, I don't have enough to make the run all the way to the house now so stay tuned and we'll get the rest of this wired up the baffle fix still haven't decided on the the doors that's maybe what I'll do is uh, when I run to town look at tractor supply see what kind of barn door handles that they have come up with some something to to use on the doors and that's it for now thanks for watching I have the uh, wire all hooked up the trench dug leading to the house now I need to bury the wire and put some clamps on the conduit running up from the bottom side of this box.